Hello, my name is Mike Grimm. I'm the Assistant Administrator for the Risk Management Directorate within the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA. It's a pleasure to join you all today and share the ways in which FEMA is working to build a more resilient nation. Since it was established in 1979, FEMA has been dedicated to fulfilling its mission of helping people before, during, and after disasters. As a federal agency, there are several con congressional authorities that define FEMA's scope of work, our products, and tools to drive action at the state, local, tribal, and territorial level. Regulatory products are one of these tools. Regulatory products are essential rules based off of authority granted to FEMA by Congress. And these types of products include our flood insurance rate maps, which are the official community maps that establish minimums for floodplain management and flood insurance requirements for flooding caused by river streams and coastal hazards. When flood insurance rate maps were created, they use an in-out or a binary format that focused on the 1% annual chance or the 100-year flood. And this approach was reasonable based on the technology at the time, but as our environment and the nation's risk management needs have evolved, we've seen it imperative to evolve with it. Around the world, we're seeing an increase in risk of hazards caused by climate change and other factors. Intense precipitation combined with changing landscapes creates higher demand for more comprehensive risk information that extends beyond the boundaries of even our ro most robust regulatory products. For that reason, while we maintain our regulatory products rooted in policy, we simultaneously develop non-regulatory products that deliver new tools and training and guidance. One of FEMA's most complex and exciting initiatives is our Future of Flood Risk Data, or FFRD, initiative. FFRD provides a more comprehensive picture of the country's flood risks and risk by leveraging new technologies to include more efficient, accurate, and consistent flood risk information across the nation. FFRD supports a graduated depiction of risk that shows a broader range of potential flood scenarios and frequencies, ultimately giving people a better picture of flood risk that can serve as a foundation for modern flood risk management for the nation. The FFRD strategy aims to switch communities' reliance on our current binary flood maps as the main flood data source to a service model which produces robust flood risk information that's more comprehensive and accessible. FFRD's framework will include climate change scenarios that allow us to develop future flood condition products. Of course, FFRD would not be possible without the help of our federal, state, and local partners. Leveraging each other's strengths and capabilities will be key to implementing FFRD and allowing us to stay current with advances in technology and the state of the science for flood hazard identification. And this includes improvements in our understanding of the impacts of climate change and future changes in precipitation and storm intensities. You've heard me say already that much of what we do at FEMA has been able to be achieved only because of the power of partnership. And one of the best examples of successful, successful partnership is FEMA's National Risk Index. More than 70 entities came together to create the National Risk Index. Upon its release, it was the first tool of its kind to help visualize community level risk and show how communities may be affected by 18 different natural hazards. And this includes coastal, flooding, drought, earthquake, tornado, and many more. And as you can see from this slide, the National Risk Index consists of this interactive web map and filters that give users a tailored, unique depiction of risk. It's especially powerful because in addition to the 18 natural hazards, it allows users to layer in expected annual loss, social vulnerability, and community resilience against hazards. And users can then create a report that summarizes the risk in their selected area. Some hazards like flooding, wildfire, drought, and extreme heat will only worsen with climate change. So we've incorporated future sea level rise into the tool, and we're working with other federal agencies to better understand the other natural hazards impacted by climate. The creation of the index was complex, but necessary step toward putting risk information in the hands who need it. <clears throat> by identifying areas that offer high return on mitigation investment, 
It can reduce the cost of risk assessment and allow community planners to prioritize action. In considering the capabilities of the tool, it remains without question that FEMA would not have been able to provide such an intricate product without the help of its partners. And each of those 70 entities who contributed played to their strengths and allocated significant time and resources to a project that helps build resilience for all. In addition to the index, FEMA partnered with other federal agencies and research institutions and regional planning authorities to create HAZUS. HAZUS is a nationwide loss modeling software which is issued as a free GIS-based desktop application and includes a set of inventory databases for states and territories. Open source tools support HAZUS desktop software. And these tools estimate physical, social, and economic impacts from earthquakes, floods, hurricanes, and tsunamis. <clears throat> the great thing about HAZUS is that it can be used for mitigation, recovery, preparedness, and response. Mitigation planners, GIS specialists, and emergency managers use HAZUS to determine potential losses from disasters and to identify the most effective mitigation actions for minimizing those losses. International users are also free to download the HAZUS software. However, adjusting hazard parameters and creating data inventories for areas outside of the U.S. Uh, really may require significant effort. But for those of you interested in learning more about the product, I encourage you to visit FEMA.gov and there's several, several additional resources available and contact information for our wonderful HAZUS team. Well, FEMA has learned that building a more resilient future requires more comprehensive risk information that empowers communities to mitigate current and future hazards. As daunting as that may seem to build those data capabilities and then get it into the hands of those who need it, it's certainly possible so long as you work together with partners who share your goals. Here in the United States, FEMA's successes have lied in our ability to work with agencies and organizations who are willing to leverage their knowledge, resources, and reach within those communities. Where we must follow regulations that limit our ability to enforce action, we also rely on these external partners to help us get conversations going and push people to pursue data-driven decision-making. So I want to thank you for inviting me to join this webinar and share some of FEMA's journey. It's conversations like the one we're having today which lead to action and resilience. Thank you very much.